Autodesk Vault is a data management solution, and it provides tools to track work in progress data and maintain version control in a multi-user environment. It facilitates environment design reviews by providing better organization and superior searching capabilities. Autodesk Vault is available in three different flavors. There's what's referred to as Vault, or Vault Vanilla, or a lot, in most cases, Vault Basic, one called Vault Workgroup, and Vault Professional. Now, starting the 2014 um, family of products from Autodesk, a product called Vault Collaboration was retired. All the features and functionality still exist in Vault Professional, and anybody who was using Vault Collaboration in the past, um, when you move to 2014, will automatically be migrated into Vault Professional. So here's a chart depicting um, the differences between the products as uh, determined by Autodesk. But I guess the real quick and dirty uh, differences here, or the short and the, the long and the short of it, is that Vault, Vault Basic provides versioning tools, but no workflows, life cycles, or revision management. In Autodesk terms, organize, manage, and track data creation, simulation, and documentation. Vault Workgroup is kind of the next level. Vault Workgroup adds workflow, lifecycle, and other revision management tools to help manage your data, specifically files. Vault Professional is the next level, and what it does is it adds items and it adds change orders. Now, obviously, there's other differences as well, and we'll highlight those throughout the course. Um, this is just kind of the basics um, and the differences between them. So, years ago, Autodesk commissioned a study on a number of small and medium-sized companies who had implemented Autodesk Vault and what they what they saw on the problems that were solved by using it. Number one was save time and error. So they could save from losing time by using the wrong version or, or accidentally overriding. The whole idea of last save wins, right? You have network locations and you're copying files from local to server or back and forth. So the idea that you have one central location for your data and everybody is always referencing the same versions of the data. Design reuse. So the idea is instead of redoing the, the idea of finding the existing projects and reusing them, so existing designs and models and such like that. Working in teams. So obviously having the ability to work in teams um, to more efficiently share data amongst that team. Sharing knowledge. So making sure your companies engineering knowledge is accessible by everybody um, not just in that one sole person or that person's notebook sitting on their desk um, kind of having that audit trail right so being able to go back and say you know when what this changed um, you know maybe even why did we change that and those type things and finally the idea that um, even if you're using vault professional the idea that you can kind of implement um, what you want at your own pace so if we just want to start with the basic functionality, just check in, check out some of the version management and then add some of the workflows and other processes later. So Vault is a true client server application and it allows for users to manage and control their data in a secure centralized location. What's really important to remember about using Vault is that you never work on the data directly on the server. Even if you open something read only, that data is actually copied down um, to your local machine and you work from it there. So data is copied local and you check it out when you want to work on it. What it means is that we actually have controlled copies of the data. So if Susie goes and checks something out, I can go in there and I can see that she has it checked out and I cannot edit that document until she checks in. So it's kind of like a library where she goes in there and she takes it out. The difference is she leaves the previous version of it there so that I can go in there and actually reference it. So I actually, actually take it and use it in my in my models. The minute that she is done and she checks it back in and I do a refresh, all her changes comes back and updates my file. It's permission based, meaning that you can control who has access to what. You know, is it read only, is it no access, and you know who has data checked out and you know who checked it in and when they checked it in. And it really provides this whole multi-user support environment. So if I'm working in AutoCAD and I'm working on the main drawing, but Bob's working on the XREF, well, we can actually both be working on these files at the same time, and Vault will make sure that we're not overriding or stepping on each other's toes. So that, in a nutshell, is a little about Vault Vault. What we're going to look at it over the next uh, set of videos is the interaction 
um, how to use it and how to set it up.